Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let's start module 4 of uh, research methodology and IPR. So under this uh, we are having uh, copyrights and related rights. Okay. So copyrights, uh, we will start with the copyrighted uh, rights and then related rights as a section B we will discuss. Okay. So under copyright we are having the first topic introduction to copyrights and related rights. So what are these copyrights called? I will just take you to a uh, general analogy or example where uh, you can see you might have heard about the so and so movie got re I mean uh, movie songs got released and the copyright uh, was sold for 1 crore or maybe 2 crores or 5 crores. This is a common uh, what you say commonly if you are a movie lover if you are a, uh, like a music lover you will be knowing this and maybe some album okay uh, they, uh, the creators created few songs and they made club date together and they made an al album and this album will have a particular copyrights where whoever the whoever actually created that content or that maybe it can be the book it can be the music or it can be the movie or it can be painting anything okay architecture anything it, if something it is done by something new it is done okay then you will be given a copyright here you cannot patent your movie you cannot patent your recordings you cannot patent your paintings or architecture or drama or any literature or books and all what you can do is you will get your copyrights okay so that no one can copy that without your permission okay for example when the new movie comes uh, few songs will be released before the movie release so whenever you try to upload the sto sto uh, story in Instagram or something which involves this particular song, then that song uh, whenever you upload the status, usually that uh, status, uh, I mean in Instagram it will come, the one message will pop up from the Instagram, you cannot upload this because the content has got copyrights. So that is one of the, you know, uh, I guess current generation will face this issue. So you might be knowing. So this is nothing but, this is happening because of the copyright. That means a original creator has got a copyright on that particular uh, music. Now the copyrights can be very short term, uh, you know, it can be just for a short term or it can be very long also. So short means just after movie release and all and when it becomes available everywhere in all theatres and in even it comes to your uh, what you say your uh, in TV channels and with songs and all because they will be given rights to the TV channels and all and after uh, maybe a month or two months you same music you use and upload in Instagram you can able to upload it understanding that is what copyright is. So copyright is can be short term or it can be long term also. So whenever you are able to go for the uh, this thing, uh, the your store uh, Instagram story without if, if any copyright message doesn't pop out, that itself means that uh, it was a short term uh, copyright, and uh, once they made business out of it, it is now av available to public. Okay, so that's how it is. So copyright is actually the, uh, the whatever the rights, again the copyrighted rights is given by whom? Again IPO officer, okay, India Independent Officer, you can say Indian, uh, in, uh, it also comes under interjection property. But the problem, the difference between the patent what we discussed in the previous module and copyright is that patent can be uh, just idea, hypothesis, okay, but whereas copyright will be given to the a particular physical form it should have a particular physical form okay music or at least virtual form like maybe your uh, algorithms softwares okay or maybe your uh, physical form in the sense you are having like a, um, what you call maybe a painting okay or your architecture this is a physical form whereas virtual or some this something you can feel like you are having the music you are having uh, all these things whatever I just explained virtually okay so uh, that's how the copyright things come into picture so let's this uh, give them brief introduction about both copyrights and related rights 
according to point wise. So, copyright is what it refers to a legal rights, okay, which is provided by the what law, okay, to whom the original creator of the work in the fields of literature and computer software. So, usually here these two things mentioned because copyright works majorly in these two fields. So, literature and computer software, okay, you might have seen. Uh, uh, whenever you download the particular app or something like that, and they, it will keep on asking all the rights like uh, whether uh, this particular camera can have access to your photo, the gallery or something like that, right. So, these all if you see the down to that whenever you upload, so there will be a mark like a C that is C and round mark will be there that itself shows that this particular app is copy, it has got a copyright, okay. So, when you have, when you create some dialogue for a movie, okay, when you create a recording or a, you know, maybe the movie, you know, video recording or film recording or audio recording, all these things, when you write, when you paint it, okay, when you make some sculptures like uh, we are in the architecture and all, all these things can be, we can have your own related copyrights. So, that was about copyright, okay. Now, speaking about the related rates, this related rates encompasses the author's work in the field of dramatics, sound recording, film, video recording, painting, architecture, these all comes under copyrights only, but they are not directly uh, coming, so they will come it as a related rights, ok. So, copyright uh, refers to what it will give, it will give the legal rights to the, legal rights to the inventor or you can say the creator of that particular work, specifically what field literature and computer. The copyrights are related, sorry copyrights and as well as related rights are one of the categories of IP intellectual property and which will be governed by the Copyright Act of 1957 of India. In this act what it will do, it provides rights to the reproduction, communication to the end masses like means to the public or with in a huge this thing and next adoption and translation of the work. Now also uh, you might have uh, heard about uh, that uh, Maharajan movie it was one of the mo uh, Tamil movie was very famous in, in, in recently. So that copyright was taken by the Amir Khan like you might have heard this news was there uh, around a month or two months back. So, it means what and even Gajini movie uh, rights who, who was actually it was uh, which was actually done in uh, Tamil language was later uh, dubbed in uh, many languages especially again same Amir Khan has taken the copyrights of that movie and he reproduced that movie understanding. So, this particular category or the uh, act which will give you the rights. So, you can sell your copyright also. For example, just movie before movie release, now the Pushpa 2 is coming. So, before movie release, now uh, all the rights, okay, maybe the song rights or the audio rights, okay, the movie, uh, what you say, the satellite uh, rights, okay, all these different different copyrights have been sold, okay, for it is already made almost around 800 to 900 crore business already, just before release only. So, this is how it works like distribution, copyrights and all, all those things will be there. So, this is how it works. So, copyright will give, it will, it, this act will provide what rights to the reproduction, you can reproduce it when I can say that when I got a copyright from so and so, I means I can reproduce it, ok. Next communication to the masses that is nothing but itself is nothing but distribution. Next adoption, I can adapt. Now, the Gajini movie was not exactly copied as it is, it was adopted. Okay, and even Tamil movie, whatever the Surya did, uh, this Gajini movie, it is also not uh, original story. Okay, this is this was also again uh, taken from one of the English movie. Okay, it was inspired from that movie. It was not a direct copy, <coughs> but whereas Tamil and um, Hindi, you see, there is a more similarity is there, but it is actually adapted. So, the, the, you can say here the copyright which he got, he can actually copy scene by scene because he got a copyright. Whereas, the Gajini cannot uh, do the copy scene by scene from the English movie because it is called adoption there. Okay, he can adopt it, but he cannot copy exactly. So, next, translation of the work. So, the translation is itself is nothing but how the movie is translated, uh, the work, whatever they got it from the uh, uh, the 
what in this example is the Tamil movie. Next, the word authors and the work need to be understood from the perspective of copyrights. Whatever the words are there, the author and work, they should be understood from the perspective of copyrights. That means, means according to copyrights, what you mean by author? According to copyrights, what you mean by work? So, according to the copyrights, the author refers to anyone who develops the content or maybe he is, uh, you can say just original uh, maker of that particular work. Okay, it's like the content, original content or developer of that content, who wrote that dialogue, who wrote that song, who wrote that uh, script of a movie, okay, or who wrote that novel, that the book or who wrote the book, all these things fail, or who wrote the research article, these all are copyrights, right. Next, the author can be a writer here, literary work, he can be a computer programmer, like he belongs to the software where he can write a new algorithms. Next, composer, musical work, okay, uh, like for example, A.R. Rahman is one of the best composer we are having, okay, now Anirodh is there, like many are there in you know, all over the uh, in india like that next we are having the producer cinema films sound recording okay he can be the producer then the photographer okay <laughs> these all are what they come under author category okay next coming to the work category according to copyright what do you mean by work so work means is nothing but a task which is undertaken but lot every work uh, daily uh, daily when i ask you what is what is your work you will tell something and all no? all that cannot be copyrighted the copy if your work has to be copyrighted it has to be related to some fields like literature you are writing a book you are writing a paper you are writing a research article a review article book and books okay or a novel all these things can be copyrighted next dramas you are making some drama you are making some movie okay all these things next music you are composing a music then your artistic uh, like whatever related to the art next cinematograph uh, cinematograph film and next sound recording all these things can be work actually okay so these are the uh, this is the perspective uh, from the copyrights uh, like how to uh, uh, according to copyright how wh what exactly author means what exactly work means okay that's it the next class we will be discussing about the classes of copyrights in the next class